Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 Hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart. Coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourself today and nurture yourself right back into life. We are literally herbivores in our nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level and to get with alkalinity, then you can generate some static electricity. Send me some love telepathically. Set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. You are now tuning in to great days. And today I'm going to make another episode on uh, boosting your brain's function. And I'm pretty much going to give you another method on how to boost your brain function. A very, very practical and simple method for everybody um, to actually, once again, boost your brain's functionality or its, um, its power, basically. So today's video is boosting brain function to... Now, so let's get right into this. In the last boosting brain function video, the first one, I talked about um, using your non-dominant hand to eat with, and um, that would pretty much balance out your two hemispheres of the brain. So you are mostly dominant in one hemisphere of the brain. There's the left and the right. The left is masculine and the right is feminine okay now most people um, if they are a right-handed person they are going to be more strengthened within the left hemisphere of the brain because it's opposite if you use your right hand it corresponds to the left brain if you use your left hand it corresponds to the right brain it's flipped it's reversed it's like a mirror effect anyway um, I talked about eating with your non-dominant hand and this would actually balance out your brain your two hemispheres of the brain and then that would further allow you to use the corpus callosum which is the bridge between the two hemispheres of the brain and uh, that would further allow you to boost your brain's functionality and it would actually allow you to boost your intelligence as well very very practical methods I've been doing it for a year already and I've definitely seen results within the first week of doing this I inevitably started using chopsticks with my non-dominant hand which is something I never thought that I would be able to do but now it's very very simple for me to literally use chopsticks with my non-dominant hand okay so um, today's episode I'm going to give you another method to actually not only balance out your brain but purely boost its functionality and bring in a stronger intelligence for you. So in this one, um, it's actually going to be fasting. Okay, so fasting is literally just abstaining oneself from eating for a specific period of time. It could be anywhere from literally 8 hours to 12 hours to 16 hours to a full day or to three days or even more if you're into extreme fasting okay extreme fasts like a day to three days or even longer will actually bring spiritual experience as well and a heightened awareness so just a little fun fact for you guys if you are trying to catch a spiritual experience a day fast or even three days of fasting will bring about a immense spiritual experience so 
pretty much though uh, if you want to boost your brain's functionality and strengthen up your intelligence or expand upon your intelligence all you really need to do is fast more because whenever you fast your brain is literally um, able to function more properly and more strongly due to the fact that whenever you eat whenever you are digesting food your body is using energy to digest this food and even your brain your brain's function is going towards breaking down your food and digesting it your nervous system which your brain is literally the main node of or the main central organ of is completely using all of its energy to digest your food so whenever you eat your brain pretty much uses its function or its energies to digest that food right so if you do not eat then your brain is able to use that energy that it uses to break down and digest food to literally just function for anything else which is pretty much um getting into whatever whatever your brain is actually doing whenever it isn't digesting food and whatever it is doing is pretty much freed up from a uh, material nature like food you know because food is very very material it keeps you in the in the material world and um if you don't eat you are able to transcend into the higher spiritual realms or the metaphysical you know um so once again if you are able to fast a little bit more this will actually boost your brain's functionality and it will allow you to expand upon your intelligence as a result of this boosted functionality so um all you really got to do is abstain yourself from food a little bit more often and you will literally start seeing um instant results like it's the truth okay you can literally do the research or you can go through direct experience yourself or you can read some books on it whatever route you want to take to understand but it is the truth so the simplest and most practical method to boost your brain's functionality and expand upon intelligence is to literally just fast a little bit more okay um and once again once you are on an empty stomach you can actually use your brain it will be a lot easier to balance out your two hemispheres and you can actually use your brain to um, pull in more of an expansive intelligence and um, that's pretty much how to boost your brain functionality okay uh, you can also come into the right brain which most people aren't in tune or in usage of the right brain hemisphere due to the fact that society specifically America is a left brained society collectively America is a left brained society in fact the whole with the whole Western civilization is a left brained um, civilization because it is of the West on the globe and a microcosm understanding or a microcosm correspondence to the macrocosm tells us that the western portion of the earth is corresponding to the left brain and the eastern civilization of the earth corresponds to the right brain okay and this is a microcosm to a macrocosm relationship um so all of america is pretty much a left-brained society and this is why we are so heavily fixated on science logic and reason for our way of uh living you know th these are all left-brained the left brain is masculinity it's objective it's mental or electrical it's fire or it's even um air it's analytical it's scientific it's logical it's reasoned okay this is all left brainedness and this is what america literally is all about because we are of the western portion of the earth and um we pull in that masculine energy because that's what is strengthened on the western portion of the earth now if you go to the eastern continent they're more creative 
they're more um, musical, they're more in tune with the subjectivism, the subjectivism of life or the subjectivity, they're more in tune with spirituality or that God experience, that unification with all beings, that um, unifying consciousness, you know, that's all right-brainedness, that femininity, that divine femininity, that, um, that chaos, or it could be order, it, it is really up to you. You can say the left brain is order, black and white, logic, or you can say it is chaos in that very way because it's not of a um, unifying harm harmony, you know, like the right brain is. So I really do not know. Um, it may be that the right brain is the ordered brain and the left brain is the chaotic brain, which is why America is so damn insane and chaotic. But um, yeah, uh, it can actually, fasting will actually allow you to get more in tune with the right brain. And this will allow you to bring in more of an imagery to your life or more of a strength and imagination as well. Um, and it's very, very beautiful to be able to use the right brain in a society that is majorly in tune with the left brain you know which is all about words and and um languages specifically with words you know like written words is more of a left-brained uh characteristic and imagery is more of a right-brained characteristic so ancient egypt was actually a, re a right brain society because it was literally on the um it was literally on the eastern uh coast of or near the eastern coast of Africa so it is literally very very eastern and east is literally of uh, correspondence to the right brain so that's why they were able to pull in um, the future they were able to use little pictures imagery as their language hieroglyphics was all about imagery it wasn't words like ours it was more uh, pictures, you know, which is right-brained, which is what the Egyptian peoples were all about. And also they were a right-brained society, which is what made them so very spiritual in, the, in their nature and so very magical, okay? So um, yeah, that's a practical method on how to actually boost your brain's functionality. Just start fasting more and all of the energy that your nervous system puts into digesting your food will be freed up and then your uh, brain can then use that freed up energy to literally just function for your um, purpose. So do thank you guys for watching once again and I hope you did enjoy the video today on boosting your brain function. And if you do like this series, make sure to comment down and give some support and maybe I will continue to make it into a um, monthly series that is very, very long, you know, like 10, 20 episodes or something like that so subscribe over here to the left of me and help me reach 100 subscribers drop a like on the video to the right of me and support the channel once again generate some static electricity from the ethereal body or the spatial body or even the first layer of the aura needs to be realized and strengthened for the during this collective rise in consciousness i love you guys have a great day and peace out